While voicing misgivings about the way the election was conducted, Nelson Chamisa, the head of the Citizens Coalition for Change CCC, expressed optimism about his chances of winning. He expressed concerns about potential attempts to deny voting rights to his supporters in Harare and Bulawayo, citing delays in some polling places opening because of the late arrival of vote papers. While some polling places didn't start voting until after midday, there were few interruptions in rural regions. In a statement issued yesterday, the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission ZEC recognized the delays. ZEC, on the other hand, came under fire from Chamisa for failing to adequately serve the public and his supporters. He said, we are displeased with ZEC's performance after casting his ballot at Kuwatsona 2 primary school. In our bastions this morning, there was no voting. Chamisa promised that his party would talk to ZEC about the issues. He also expressed concerns regarding the indestructibility of the ink used for voting, highlighting the fact that ZEC had not given adequate justifications. He also voiced his displeasure with the handling of the ballots and the voters' list. ZEC was charged by Chamisa with questionable behavior and inciting unrest in rural communities. Chamisa is launching a second run for the presidency despite having previously fallen short to President Emerson Umnengogwa in the contentious 2018 election. Umnin Gogwa is running for re-election in a tight race for a second term. Chamisa said with assurance, we have won this election, and we will continue to campaign for credible and peaceful elections to secure a legitimate outcome. He asserted that Zek's opponent's seeming terror and cooperation was the result of the awareness of his victory. Zek announced that he would make all results public within the following five days. Meanwhile, noting its illegality, the police and the election management organization issued warnings against the unofficial release of results.